Good morning. Friday, July 2nd, 2021. Breaking the rain, so can't really do anything constructive on the house, you know, because I'm still working on sawmill and lumber and all that good stuff. So I could, but then, you know, you get all your tools out. And then the, the what if, the what if it starts just raining, then your tools are out there. But anyway, not that that's a bad thing. So anyway, what I'm, what I'm going to do today on this Friday is uh, start moving some water. I'll show you, I think I've shown you the rain catch system that I have uh, next to my barn. I'm going to show it to you when I walk back over there. But The other day I bought the, bought about... No, I bought 10 of these blue food grade barrels. And uh, this one I've had for a while. And I, I was gonna make a, a spigot out of it so that, you know, the animals, my sister's dog or who, you know, could, could come up and like pigs, you know, that those little spigot things that they drink out of. And it worked, but then I moved it over here because, you know, dogs don't come visit. <laughs> Sometimes my sister's dog does, but anyway, uh, so I, I just moved it over here. So I was like, well, I'll just use this water in this tank to water the garden. Well, the other day, uh, like I said, I bought those barrels and I'm going to go get those barrels and put them over here by the garden because when it rains, we I catch the water. Um, to use the wicking system that I use right here when it was dry about a week ago and I did have to water the garden which I haven't had to in a while now because of the rain <laughs> um, it took about 50 60 gallons to fill all of these buckets up to capacity uh, and, and you know the wicking system which you've seen before uh, it, it allows you not to water every single day if you don't want to so you know the roots get down in there and the wicking you know the the container at the bottom has plenty of water lasts about a week you know give or take and uh so uh, i pumped some water over here filled them all up and it took about 50 60 gallons i'm like well okay but the problem is what i have to do is not a problem lordy but you just try to make things easy right is i've got to hook my water hoses up and run them all the way over to the water, the catch systems. Well, you know that, you know, it just runs across here and then, then you gotta fill it in each spigot and all that good stuff. Not a big deal, not a big deal. But I thought, how, how am I gonna make it easy? I bought those barrels for a reason. And I bought them because I knew I was gonna use them as a water catch system on our greenhouse when we get that built. And it'll be right next to the garden. It's actually, our greenhouse is gonna be right there, right where my trailer is. So it'll be right there. The, the, the catch system will be off the roof of that, that greenhouse. And I'll have at least five, maybe six barrels, those blue barrels, catching water. So then I can just pump the water over or use gravity feed, you know, when I get to that point. How I designed that, I'll show you. But I thought, well, why, why wait? Why not just bring them over here? And what I'll do is I'll just set, I'm gonna probably get five. I don't know how many I'll bring down, but anyway, uh, set them right here, and then I'm going to pump the water over and fill these barrels up. So that's what I'm going to do. Looks like my batteries go down. I'm going to go plug this thing in real quick so I have some more charge because I want to show you what I'm going to do later on. So anyway, that's where the barrels are going to go. So I got to hook up the system, pump the water. These are the blue barrels that I was talking about. We stored them up here. I, st I stored them up here at my parents. My sister got those when we went. We took the trailer and it was muddy down my driveway so I didn't want to take the trailer down there. So we just unloaded everything up here. She's got hers upside down to drain. I can't remember what's in there, some type of syrup. But again, food grade. And these are food grade, obviously. So even if I wanted to convert these barrels to water for me, they're okay. So anyway, I'm gonna take six of these back to my place right now and load them on the truck I got to take my cover off there or roll it up put them in there take it back there to the 
to the garden. All right. You're always watching me put my gloves on. Gotta look out for snakes, they could be under here. on there, I need two more. Basic math. Two, three, four. Oh, I wanted to get six, didn't I? Yeah, so I, now I need two more. I got four on there, I need two more. Gotta move all this stuff. Just put the stuff on here when they're well I know we were building the chicken coop but mom and sister built most of it. Take those tops off. Wire. Okay, there's that. Now hopefully they don't fall off going down my really rough driveway. And these barrels, like I said, I think I paid 10 bucks a piece, maybe 20. I can't remember. But anyway, they've got the, the bung caps in them, so they will be tight. I'll just have to put the water on, put the caps back on, take them off when I want to pump water out into the garden. Take them off when I want to pump water back in the bucket of the barrels. And then, I've, like I said, the system I've got designed to catch water is different than what I'm going to do now. But this is just going to be another temporary thing to get them over there, start using what I have. Okay, uh, see you back in a second. I did have to put a strap on there. It's just jiggling around. It may not have fell off. Fell off? Is that how you say that? Fallen? But anyway, um, so now I'm going to try to set this camera up here so you can see me unloading. Let's see, that's gonna be okay right there. Kinda got the back of the pickup, and then where I'm stacking them. So this won't take very long, obviously. So, we'll get these things unloaded over there, then I'll pause it and uh, show you the next process. Y'all have to 
to worry about these things blowing away or falling over because they're going to have water in them. So, not a problem right now. Like so. Taking this go ahead and bring the camera over here. Gonna take this cap, they're called bung holes, I believe, even on plastic uh, barrels. Take that off. And again, these have been pretty much cleaned out. They got some, like I said, it's food grade. So got the water hose down in there now. Let me go over here. And plug in my pump, start pumping water in, huh? So, I guess I should time this first one just to kind of see how fast this pump pumps 50 gallons. I think I'll do that. Just get my phone when I start it. Start the timer. I'll probably, you know, I don't want to overheat this little pump. It's just a little Harbor Freight pump, but it works awesome. I've used it many, many, many times. I used it on my RV before I had running water, when I had to carry water down to my RV when I was living in it back here. And it, it worked fine, there it is. It's that little, what's called Drummond. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, let's see, I'll sit there. there. I don't know if you can see real quick, but this is gonna just plug this in. Let's see what happens. Should be fine. And there it goes. You don't have to prime it or anything, it just picks it up. Starts pumping water out. Yeah, I'll do that right there so that hose won't get cranked up. It's one of those zero G things, but all right. Now I don't want to do that because I need that hose to be all the way down in there. Okay, should be pumping. I just ran it around this way so that it wouldn't have to crank over the wall. I could have went that way, but there's a bunch of junk in my way. So now I'm just going over here to see if it's pumping water and look at the time on my phone and then we'll probably subtract 30 seconds, add 30 seconds. I'll add 30 seconds to the time uh, for the walk over here. Let's see. Should be pumping. It is. It's getting after it. See there? All right. Like I said, I'm going to go over here and start my, my phone clock. Then add about 30 seconds to it when it's full. Maybe a little longer. That'll give me a, a good estimate, right? <laughs> give me a good as. Let's see, where do I got to go? I got to go to clock. Right there, clock. And then a timer. Is that right? Timer? No, I want to go stopwatch. Where's stopwatches? That's, that's alarm. There's stopwatch start. Okay. Now I'll probably have to add about a minute, huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, going to be out for now. Uh, plug this back in, let the battery charge back up, and um, 
let you show, show you when that's full just because and then at the end I'll show you when they're they're all full I'll give you a estimate about how long it took okay out for now well we are almost to the top it's been like watching paint dry <laughs> there we go it's full so now I'm just gonna move this right over to the next barrel start filling that up uh, go check the timer and remember I, I think I said I wanted to add a minute 16 for so we'll say 17 right at 18 minutes to uh, fill that up so if I set my timer at 15 minutes I can walk away and do something 15 minutes come back and the barrel will be almost full so then I'm going to put this cap back on right there it doesn't have to be real tight right it's just doesn't matter I mean it's not gonna nothing's gonna happen the only reason it would be tight is if it was gonna fall over uh, but so now that one's filling up and what's in there these it's really neat uh, the people that we bought it from they go collect these barrels or buy them or whatever they do from different places these blue barrels here had basically vanilla vanilla flavor and it's kind of hard to believe man that's 50 gallons of vanilla but yeah and anyway it, they, they rinse them out before they sell them you know to kind of get some of it out but there's always still that smell and oh my it smells awesome it smells so good but anyway uh so there's the process guys i'm gonna finish filling all those up today uh let's go over that was 150 gallon barrel this is the last thing i want to show you on this uh <clears throat> I think the other 50 they're not 55 I think they're 50 uh, give me 55 I need to check that <laughs> I don't know why I would need to know but, uh, and then let's look at the amount that came out of the container so if we're looking at remember I said the garden took about 50 60 gallons to water because it went from the very top to that first line maybe a little under and has about 50 gallons I thought so I pumped 55 gallon into that barrel took it down so that must be see if we went 50 1 2 3 4 5 5 times 5 250 yeah that's 250 gallons so right in there is about 50 gallons from the top of the barrel to just below that first rim and so I'll probably put three out of this one maybe four and then two out of that one over there I'm not what I'm getting at this one barrel fills up slow I mean barrel this one container fills up slower than the other one because of the way the water runs off the roof so I probably want to empty the big one out the one to fill yeah, that's what I want to do so I'll put four barrels out of the one that the far one which I haven't started yet and two out of this one so when this one gets full I'll switch the pump over to the other barrel or the other container lower that one down because it fills up I don't know why about twice as fast and well I do know why because the slope of the roof and then the thing I put up there to divert the water <laughs> so it's, it's me I mean I know why so anyway uh, that's that part of the the water catch system that I'm putting together for the garden right now which now what I'll do is I'll keep that little pump that's over there right in here in my chainsaw area so then all I've got to do is put the hose in the barrel, run a short extension cord to my power pole there, and we're good to go. Then I just got one or two water hoses to go there. And these water hoses stay over here anyway. So, because I've got my water uh, faucet over there. And I guess the question is, well, why don't you just use your, your water well? Yeah, I could. I could use my water well. I choose not to if I don't have to because if we're talking about why would I use this water and want to catch it and keep it well when it doesn't rain for a month four weeks or very little rain you know what I'm saying where it's like well you still got to water the garden I would rather use the rain water that I've caught on the garden and not suck up the water out of the ground to water a garden I'd rather suck up the water out of the ground for me my, my you know drinking water the stuff in my house 
because um, it's great, clear, clean, tastes great water out, out of the ground here. And so it's like, you know, there have been times in, in this area, in Oklahoma, in every state, just depends on how the weather cycles go, uh, where the water table gets a little low. There's times where my, my parents' well, which is only 160 feet deep, I think, 150, 160 feet, it'll start getting a little red dirt in the water because, you know, the water table's getting a little low up there in their area, you know, and the pump kicks it up and the dust, it won't be dust, it'll be dirt, mud, floating around, dirt particles in the, in the bottom of the well pumped up into the house, you know, and you can see it in your glass, your drinking water, which is fine. A little dirt never hurt, right? Dirt don't hurt. So uh, <laughs> I'm rambling, but that's why, is there are going to be those times I want this thing set up so that I don't have to use my water well. If, we, if we're going through some type of drought next year, 10 years from now in, in Oklahoma, you know, obviously that's probably when California would be getting drenched because that's just kind of the way the weather cycles seem to work. Because right now they're in a, a drought uh, heat wave and we've had the heat wave, but we've had the rain. You know, so we, we're getting the rain, they're not. And in four or five years, they may be getting all the rain and we'll get very little. So anyway, that's why I'm doing it. Catch the water, have it set up, you know. And, and then, then what about that situation? Maybe the electricity goes out and I don't have my generator set up yet to pump water out or whatever the reason may be where I can't get water out of the ground. Well, I'll have water here that I can boil, that I can cleanse, run through filters. To drink you know so it's it's, it's in, in the blue doesn't let the algae and stuff grow inside so that that's another plus i rambled on <laughs> thanks for watching dan designs i really appreciate it please like and subscribe and share with friends